Hey guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys what's on my iPhone X. R. Um, I've already done a video like this a while ago. I think it's like a few months ago now. But that was before we got the uh, new update, which we've had for like a few months now. So it's not that new anymore. Yeah, I thought, you know what? Let's go and show you guys what's on my iPhone XR with the new update. I still have the iPhone XR and it's in yellow. I have a clear phone case, but as you can see, it's quite dirty. So I actually am planning on ordering a new one, but I don't really know where I can order one. And I don't have a screen protector anymore. I used to have a screen protector on it. But, for some weird reason, every time I put like a screen protect protector on my phone, it would get like uh, uh, a cut or something like that over here, like over my camera. And that would like result in some weird glares over my camera every time I wanted to take like a selfie or every time I was like filming TikToks. Let me show you right now before you give it up. Take it back, so and oh, oh, I'll never Want to know where your math level is? Here's 12 questions by grade level to see where your math level is. All these questions can be done mentally, but you don't have to, and you can pause it anytime you like. Ready? What's 4 plus 4? What's 25 minus 8? What's 12 times 9? Best friend, what picture of me would you use if I went missing? Don't know the game, you keep mentioning my name We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck, y'all can suck my dick So I decided to take it off and just get a new protective layer But I haven't had the time yet to get a new one So I've just been using it like this for the past few days now Let's show you guys what is on my phone so when you open my phone, this is what you see. This is my lock screen. Um, it's a picture of Ariana Grande, obviously. <laughs> it's just a very simple background, but I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Then when you open my phone, you open to whatever page I close it on. But this is the first page on my phone, as you can see. I have like three icons or whatever you call it on my phone. Um, well, on the first screen. Um, yeah, I have um, a clock, as you can see, with like a picture on it and the day and the date. So that's quite handy. Underneath that, I have um, a picture of Ariana Grande. I love that picture. Next to that, I have my messages. I have FaceTime. I have my calendar, photos. And underneath that, I have another, like, picture. That one is from Louis Tomlinson, and I really just think that those two just really, like, have the same vibe. So I wanted to put those together, because, yeah, they match. <laughs> and next to that, I have uh, my camera application, my settings, my clock, and my wallet. Um, I don't really use this page that much. But, I mean, there's just the basic things on there, so it's still quite important. And on the bottom, over here, as you can see, I have, like, my phone where I can, like, select people I want to call. Next to that, I have WhatsApp. Next to that, I have Snapchat. And next to that, I have Safari, which... don't even know what the last thing is I looked up. I think it's, like, a... Yeah, it's the recipe of the uh, Ombai cook I made in my last video. So <laughs> if you guys haven't watched that video yet, just click here or here, click somewhere. Uh, click on the eye and you will go to the video I made and you can see how you can make Ombai cook yourself. So second page, um, we're starting off with a picture of me and Astrid. Um, it's an amazing picture. I love it. <laughs> and I wanted to put that on my uh, home screen. So... Yeah, it's there. 
Next to that, I have my Instagram, I have Fisco, I have Lightroom, and I have iMovie. I don't use iMovie on my phone, as you can see, so it's not downloaded, but it's still there because I don't have any other apps that, like, kind of matches this, so I leave it on there. <laughs> Uh, underneath that, I have a picture of Harry Styles. I think this picture also matches the picture of me and Astrid, so that's why it's there. And it's also because it's a cool picture. Uh, next to that, I have Spotify, Netflix, TikTok, and Tumblr. And I'm way too addicted to TikTok. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so... And I also have Spotify here with all of the playlists I have. Um, that one is called Drunk Hours. It's exactly five hours long and it's just... That's amazing. <laughs> uh, we call it Drunk Hours because this is gonna be a playlist we listen to whenever we get drunk together again. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of songs in there. Um, I put in some songs, she put in some songs and then we... Um, spend I think like 30 minutes to get them in order so that was fun uh, underneath that I have my solo slash 1d uh, playlist um, and I have this playlist it's, it doesn't really have a name as you can see it's just two dots because this is kind of like a, a playlist I listen to when I'm like in my feels when I feel down, when I need to cry, that's the playlist I put on. <laughs> uh, underneath that, I have a playlist which is called 12 Days of Walls. Uh, I don't really use that anymore, so I think I can just... I can, I'm just gonna delete it, because it's not like... I don't really use it anymore, so... That's gone. Uh, underneath that, I have a playlist with everything from Zayn. Underneath that, I have a playlist with everything from Liam. Underneath that, I have a playlist um, with everything from Niall. Playlist with One Direction, playlist from Louis, playlist for Harry, and I have a playlist called Current Vibes. Um, I'll put like the link in the description down below so you guys can listen to the music I listen to. And Current Vibes is a playlist with like all of the current music I listen to, as you can see. Um, I need to update it because I added two songs this morning, uh, from both from Imagine Dragons. And I need to like put those like in the right order. So <laughs> I haven't really updated it yet, but yeah. So that's the playlist I usually listen to. So I'll put it down below so you guys can also like listen to the music on that playlist. Um, underneath that I have a playlist which is called Nostalgic. And as you can see, it's 36 hours and 44 minutes long. Uh, that's because there's thousands of old songs in this playlist or kind of like guilty pleasure play uh, songs. Um, there are songs from Main Street, there are songs from One Direction, there are songs from Mika, there are songs from Jack and Jack. It's just, there's also like a lot of old songs I used to jam to when I was like younger. And there's also songs in there from like the good old times, like summer 2016 songs. So yeah, um, I can also put a link of this playlist down below, but it's 36 hours and 44 minutes long because there's so many songs in there, it's ridiculous. Underneath that playlist, I have my Arna Grande playlist. And underneath that, I have my Imagine Dragons playlist. Uh, yeah, like I said, I also have Netflix and Tumblr on there. Um, I use Tumblr not that much, but I use it often, so <laughs> I, s I have it. <laughs> uh, and underneath that, I have a, a calendar. It's also from Widget Smith, and I think it's like very pretty. It's like kind of matches the aesthetic I have on my phone. As you can see, my phone is quite dark because I have everything on my phone on dark mode because I just like that way better. It's just easier for my eyes or something. I don't know, I just like it way better. And on the third page, we have four widgets of Widget Smith. The first widget we have is a picture of Niall. Um, the second widget we have is a picture of Zane. And then the third widget we have is another picture of me in Astrid and next to that I have a widget with like battery levels and stuff so every time I like use my airpods it shows how much uh, or how far my airpods have charged and how empty my case is as you can see the case is quite empty so I actually really need to charge my case <laughs> Um, yeah, on this page we have Facebook. I don't really use Facebook that much, so... Uh, next to that I have my email, 
And then I have Twitter, which I use way too much. It's insane. Next to that, I have the App Store. And then underneath the picture of Niall, we have YouTube, obviously. <laughs> Next to that, we have YouTube Studios. And then we have Pinterest. And then we have TubeBuddy. Uh, TubeBuddy is a uh, app I use to, like, watch my, like, um stats and stuff like i can see how many subscribers i have i can see how much uh, views i have on my videos how much likes how much comments and it's a quite handy um app and i'm actually really glad that i have this don't really know from who i heard it but or saw it i'm not really sure anymore but i've had it for quite a while now and it's quite good uh, and yeah of course i have pinterest because well <laughs> Obviously, we have Pinterest. Um, I also use Pinterest uh, way too much. Uh, next slide, we again have three widgets. The first widget we have is a picture of Ariana Grande. It's actually a GIF, but you can't play GIFs on widgets. So it's a picture and I still think it's like quite a cool picture. So <laughs> yeah. Um, um, the second widget we have is a picture of Liam. And the third picture we have is another picture of Ari. And again, I think that these three like match quite good together because they kind of have the same vibes. But then you take a look at my apps and you see that they're not really color coordinated and they're just kind of a mess. But that's because this and the next slide are kind of like my apps I need but don't really use that often but I still need to have them like on my home screen so I can access them quickly so they're not really that organized um I have my Disney Plus uh, app on here um I have Wattpad which I haven't used in quite a while to be honest but I still have it um underneath that I have Magister which is kind of like a school um app like I can see my schedule, I can see my um, what homework I need to do, and I can see um, my like grades and stuff. Next to that I have Outlook, which is the email service or something for my school. So I have that over there. Um, then I have Rabobank, which is my bank. So yeah. <laughs> Next to that I have an app called Flow, and that's something that just helps scheduling your uh, period. So every time you like start your period, you log your period, and then it just keeps that in mind. And it, you can add like the symptoms you have, and it's a quite handy app because it gives you like a notification like, oh, your period is supposed to start in like those and those days, and it shows when you're ovulating, and it's just, it's a really nice app. <laughs> Um, underneath that we have episode and we have best fiends. Um, I haven't used best fiends on my phone in quite a while But I also have it on my iPad and I usually play it on my iPad much more, but I'm obsessed with best fiends I've had it for years now, and it's just it's addicting. It really is. I think um I think I'm on like level 100 and uh, no, I think I'm on like level 800 or something uh, Let me check. I think it's like 800, but I'm not entirely sure but I think it is well, as you can see, I haven't played it in quite a while, so I need to connect with Facebook again to get to, get to the um, level I'm on. Then we have Notes, then we have PayPal, Google Maps, and LSC Smart Connect, which is an app I use for the uh, lights I have on my nightstand. Um, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, so every time I open this app, I can turn on the lights, so I just have to click on it, then I have to click on that, and oh, it's not working now because I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is shit in my room, but I just normally I just have to click on that and it turns on my lights and I can choose what color I want my lights, like if I want it red, blue, purple, pink, green, yellow, white, I could just legit pick every single color. <laughs> and on the last slide, we have this, uh, we have also three widgets. Um, the first widget is, I normally have it on like the, the weather app, cause 
it's quite handy to have the weather app. <laughs> so yeah, I have um, weather. Um, apparently it's like eight degrees, which is quite cold, and it's supposed to be raining all day, and it's very, very windy. But thank God it has stopped raining for now. <laughs> Then we have a widget which is called Spotify, so I can just click on that and open Spotify to the last playlist I listen to, which is nice. <laughs> the last widget we have is a widget of a picture. Um, I think I got it from Louis' Instagram, but I'm not really that sure anymore, but I think it is. Um, and the apps I have on this slide, I mean this page, are... Um, they can connect, which is a, an app I can use to connect with my camera so that I can um, transfer like pictures to my phone so I can edit them on my phone and I can post them on Instagram. Next to that I have a Radio 538, which is the radio station I listen to the most. And sometimes I like listen to it when I'm here, when I'm at home. So I just connect it to my speaker, which is over there, as you can see, and can, I can just simply listen to the radio. Don't do it that often, but sometimes I do and I win watches on radio shows so <laughs> yeah um, next to that I have curious cat which I don't really use that much but it's still there and next to that I have Google home which I use um, to set up my Google Chromecast but since the Wi-Fi is being really annoying right now I can't really use it so that's quite annoying <laughs> Then we have um, the app called Albert Hein, which is a supermarket like close by and it's very handy to have it on my phone because I have this card which I can scan and then I get like uh, discounts so it's very handy to have the app. <laughs> Next to that I have Mark Platz, which I don't really use that often either but I'm selling my other camera so I still have that app so I can see when people like put bits down on my camera. Then we have DS Mobile and DS File. Um, I don't really use those either, but I have them on my phone because I absolutely love the series Chicago Fire, but unfortunately um, that's not on Prime Video anymore. So my mom downloads um, like th that series for me so that I can watch it on my phone or on my iPad. So yeah, that's why I have that. And I have DS Mobile because I tried to download it myself, but I couldn't figure it out. So it's kind of a waste, but it's still on there because I don't want to delete it. But I haven't shown you guys my, um, my background. Wait, let me show you guys my background. So as you can see, this is my background. It's a very simple background, just as my lock screen. It's a black screen with the silhouette of can you guess? Louis Tomlinson! <laughs> my background on my home screen is a black screen with the silhouette of Louis Tomlinson because, like I said, it's easy and I like it. I think, well, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's everything I have on my iPhone XR with iOS 14. Um, I really like how I ordered these um, like pages, how I ordered the apps and what widgets I put down. I'll put um, the two playlists from my Spotify down below so you guys can listen to that music if you want. Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye guys! We've been dancing for so long, I